Hi, my fair mates, doing? My name is Diabelical, and welcome back to Violent Horror Stories, where we're here to finish the last two VHS tapes. We finished the first two. We finished the cart all along the all along the Toon Tower. I don't want to click on the VHS because for some reason I can't back out of them once I click on one. And we finished Sensation, but now we have Old Man's Liver, and no, I'm not human. It looks like a cockroach in the back. What the fuck is that? What is that? I don't know. Let's just play. Let's just play the damn game. I'm not good. Don't question it. So far, we've played a game where we're a cartoon character running for our lives. And then we played a um, a weird paparazzi man stalking Tokyo's most sens sensational uh, celebrity. We're going to leave it at that. Hopefully, we don't do either of those. I don't think. Hopefully, this is about eating liver. I could be I'm definitely very much wrong about that but let's just see I didn't read this I didn't get to see this part yet that's the part that concerned me we're in the oh, this is the Boba Bros the Boba Bros no. okay we'll just do it all right Boba Bros let's see what you got if you don't know the Boba Bros uh, they made a game that I played a, a while ago uh, it's just a prank if you guys want to check that out too oh. <laughs> every day oh Oh my god, handsome man. You got a bit of fun. What, what, what? You're right. You could be... <laughs> Press A to turn left. The other left? What are you talking about? That's right. You blind worm. What's happening? In my day, a man could handle a son with his pinky and satisfy half a dozen women. <laughs> That's a quote right there. Why the hell did you take this job, imbecile? I needed the money, man. Running away from your bitch, are you? Jesus, man. What? 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 What's happening? What's happening? What happened? Why? 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 What's happening? What did you mumble, moron? Oh, that's us. I haven't found the one yet. Don't tell me. Ew. What the fuck? Oh my God! What's happening? What? Uh? Did he choke to death? Are you okay over there, dude? Did you choke? Um, oh, thank God he's still alive. Oh, what? Shit. I don't know where this... What's this story have to do with anything? What? I'm just I don't know what's happening. What's happening right now? Three dogs are just running down. We're being sled. We have a TV apparently. That's a good thing, right? TV, TV, T. What? What? Wait, is that a fucking television? <laughs> We're using a television to pull a sled. Wait, no. What? Drive straighter? Oh, I'm not liking this now. Wait a minute, no, 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 wait the fuck, wait, 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 I did not need to hear that. We don't need to do that right now. Do not do that near me. I'm not listening to that. I'm not watching that. I, I tried to turn, but for a second. What? Oh my god. Maybe, listen, man, don't talk about, don't touch my boys. You worthless scum, festering pimple, you ruined the best shot. I don't know. This is this is the Boba Bros, definitely. I speak here, bitch. <laughs> Jacob. <gasps> he just slapped us. Jacob, don't cry. Press F to push, old man. Yeah. What did you fucking you made your bed today, old bitch? Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no, 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 I don't like that weird cackling. Um, what the hell? Easy though, no. nice doggy. We're not tasty at all. How do you know this? How are you interpreting this? Press F to eat the liver. What? What liver? 
He had a liver in his mouth. Also, how does a dog know that I'm hungry? How good. What the hell is happening? This is better than... At <laughs> least showed yourself, boss. What? They fucking talk. Moron, woof woof. You were through the lame mutt. Now you're the pack leader. <laughs> Who the fuck is moron? Those are their names? Brown Noser, Moron, and Pack Leader? What? A re an alpha makes sure it takes the knight by the balls or some stupid shit like that, I don't know. Moron, shut up. <laughs> oh my dear god, what is that? <sighs> um, what do, what do we- what- why- um, does it- what the- why are we chasing a- uh, a silhouette of a ballerina dancer. I have multiple questions. Also, I didn't really want to speak the, um, the line or the, the subtitles because they were already talking. Okay. I didn't want to really speak the vo the voices and the subtitles because they were already talking. If they weren't talking, I would have voiced them, but, um, they were already talking. I really liked the, the audio of the voices better than me actually trying to reenact them. I'm gonna get you, ballerina. I'm gonna get you. We're gonna eat the liver. Me, moron's gonna have last. He's the moron. He gets to have him last. We just do we just flip it right into the air? You can't get away, ballerina. You, the old man, wanted to crack the chicken. I still can't get over the fact that's. I can't believe that was actually said and used in real terms. Who's actually ever said that and meaned it? You couldn't just, you know, use a better play on words? God, you could have used something so many different other things. Like, uh, 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 I don't know, what could we, you could have, uh, we could have placed the lug nut on the pipe. We could have, we could have inserted the PVC pipe. I don't know anymore, man. These are all horrible. Maybe the crank the chicken was the best alternative than the other ones that I'm creating. Maybe I should have kept the old man around. He really would have been great at innuendos. You talk, I don't, don't look back. I can't. <gasps> Oh my god! What the fuck have you crashed? You worthless piece of shit! He's the cockroach! I ate your liver! How are you alive? I don't know, sir. Yes, sir. I'll crash next time for sure, sir. What the hell are you talking about? No, no. These aren't the words of a leader, but a bitch. What? Dude, what are you doing here? Get out of here. Go crash to the mountain or something, please. We're not crashing. Hell no, I'm not. Cr you can crash all you want, but I'm not fucking crashing. I'm not doing that. A pack leader doesn't crash at all. Oh god, I don't know what's happening. Oh god. Um, 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 um. Yeah, fuck you, you weird cockroach asshole. Cockroach. <laughs> oh my dear god, you freaky little asshole. No, 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 no. I don't want to start over and be stuck with your weird cockroach ass. Get away from me, please. Got you. Boy, oh doggy, pack leader, moron, brown noser, all the way, boys. <laughs> why are we flying? Where does the flying come? Oh my god, why? Why did that get to me? I shouldn't have gone. <gasps> oh god, oh god, oh god. Hit him. Yes, thank you. Phew. No, why? Why are you? <gasps> moron! No! Brown noser! No! Moron, brown noser! How can I let this happen to them? That's so awful. Pack leader, don't go, buddy. It's just me and you now. Why did they have to get rid of Moron? Moron, no! What the? We don't die until we get the female. What? What are we talking about? Oh, thank God, they're back. Brown noser, Moron, I missed you both. I missed you both so tremendously. I'm not letting you boys die again. Not this time. I refuse to let you bo all you boys die. I can't let the a true alpha doesn't abandon the pack. He protects it. <laughs> I can't see that well, man. The light. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Not 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 the game light, but my light. Oh no, 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 no. Moron! Sex is just a concept. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't want to lose brown noser. Oh god, oh god. Moron, I, why does he have to be the first one to die? I don't want that poor bastard. Also, why is the old man? Well, I mean, it's true. It does fit him uh, very well that he is a cockroach. Oh, no. Perfect. No, I don't want to finish without brown. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, what the hell do you buy? What? Why am I being kissed every time I die, man? All right, here we go. Now we can get him out of the way this time. Easy. 
I don't know how the hell I'm gonna be able to get out of here with this bullshit. Okay, 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 okay. Now oh, come on. More, I want to keep Moron alive, but I mean, if I if I suck that much, you know what? I'll, I'll be fine with brown nose, I guess. How are you taking so many hits, cockroach? I ate your liver. You should be dead by now. You can't survive without a liver. I ate it. it didn't taste that good. It tasted very buggy. <gasps> the ballerina. We did it. We got the, what? What? Boss, good job. You found your princess. Although, who am I kidding? What? Why? Your brain is like a C from vitamin deficiency. Right now, my brothers and I are eating you alive. Oh no. We weren't an alpha pack at all. Okay. He was really not on our side. Game by Indie Punk and Nim. Oh dear God. <laughs> Well, I guess we weren't... What an illusion. I guess the crash really messed... Scrambled our brains that we thought the wolves all of a sudden were going to talk to us. The whole... I'm still waiting for that game to come out, mate. All right, now we're on to the final tape that is... No, I'm not human. I am... Exactly, whatever that means. An intimate story about a disaster and guests from underground. Why does it look like the guy from... What's that one analog horror series that... Bun, Bun, Bun's Burgers or something? No, I don't think so. It was... I forgot what it was. But it, it was... It, oh, fuck, I forgot the fucking name. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Either way... Ooh, no, I'm not human. I'm a... Z -Z -Z okay, perfect. Let's just start. Oh, oh, we actually get to walk around this time. Oh, how lovely. Hello? Open. Space. Okay. <laughs> People from the cities have been starting to come to their neighbors. Please. People have changed a lot. If they come to your place, you let them in. Just be careful, okay? I've heard of people being killed by other people. Now I hear these stories more and more often. An acquaintance said that the creatures that look like humans are coming. In a few days they will tell me what signs can be used to distinguish them from humans. You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come in. Who knows what's next? What's going on out there? It's safe to look out the windows at night. And I even recommend it. That way you at least realize the surroundings near your house. It's hard to look out during day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. Is it better to leave? Wait. What do we do now? Let's summarize. There's going to be people coming in at night. You decide who to let in and who not. It's hard to decide visually. We'll be told later by the authorities what to do. Look at the windows. You don't know what's going on. And keep your head down. It's dangerous everywhere now. I'll sleep in your cabinet tonight. And tomorrow you can do it yourself. Come and see me in the afternoon and we'll talk. Okay. Seems no one else will come home to come tonight. Okay. So did we just let this random guy in? That's perfectly fine, I guess. Bedroom. Oh, Gidoki. Wait a minute. Can I do that with every door? I just gotta get close enough. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think it was just that one door. Okay. I guess we'll just go to bed. It seems that's the only thing we can do. Okie dokie. Click on the TV. Nope. We'll just go to bed then. Perfect. Ah, uh, what a happy day. Oh my good lord. Boy, you, it's bad enough you have blue eyes, but the fact that they're gigantic, you're soulless, me. Good morning, dear viewers. It's the most morning weather forecast. Oh, the sun keeps shining and the summer heat persists in our town. The duration of this heat has already broken a Guinness record, and it seems that the good weather isn't going anywhere. Scientists are closely monitoring solar activity and predict its intensification, but they assure us there's nothing no need to worry. So grab your sunglasses, take your best swimsuits, and don't forget your hats. And most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been more weird behavior in town, and experts think it's because of too much sun. No, it's because there's weirdos. You watch gracefully ballerinas gliding across the stage, performing beautiful silhouettes. Classical dance brings you back warm childhood memories and makes you think of beautiful things. Oh, I just wasted uh, electricity. That ain't good. Oh, it's light. Living room open. Uh, we got a cross. Nothing really in here. Okay. What about the cabinet? <gasps> Man, what are you doing? Did you see the newscast? It's a nightmare. Okay, in this heat, every dialogue is going to waste your energy. So think hard about who you want to talk to. And one more thing, checking people for signs of guests should be in the dialogue too. So be careful how you spend your energy. 
If you decide you've talked to everyone and you don't want to sleep, have a beer. Go to the kitchen, have a cold one from the fridge. It'll, it'll use up all your energy and you'll want to sleep right away. This is kind of weird, don't you think? Let me preface this with a word just in case. During the day, you can talk to your house guests about all sorts of things. In dialogue with them, you can check the signs of fake people. Next, you can decide what to do with those who are not human in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anyone else, but still have the strength, drink beer in the kitchen. There's one in the fridge I bought to, to chill. It'll make you so sleepy. And wait for help. If they call an evacuation, stay close to my family. Now have a beer and get some rest. You look tired. By the way, I've heard that at night someone walks around asking you if you're home alone. If you open the door, don't say that you're alone. Okay. Did you see that? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, okay, okay. I think I accidentally used up the other one. And I accidentally used up the other one. Lovely. That's a cool little thing where like it's, it's like a 3D, but as soon as you open the door, it's like uh, it's like the old uh, click and adventure games from like uh, Flash. Oh great, it's nighttime now. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I can't talk to anyone else. I just have to talk to people at the door. Okay, let's just see who's there. Hello, is my dad here? Can you call him? It wasn't scary during the day, but now it is. A lot of people went out at night. Ooh, tell him what's your father's name. Did you forget his name? Oh, you're checked to see if I'm a visitor. You're smart. I'll start checking people now, too. Are you af are you afraid of visitors? I don't know. Everyone is scared of them. I'm scared of them, too. I haven't seen one of them. Are they scary? Do they hurt? My friend from school hit me hard. Is he a visitor, too? Daddy said to be careful. It I'm very careful. I came here very quietly. No one saw me. I'm calling dad for you. Have good luck. Thanks. Good luck to you too. We go now. I'm scared to be outside alone at night. We're going to play a game. He made some kind of game where you have to roll dice and walk on objects. I mean, like a chair or a couch. And then you have to build a road. Anyway, I'll show you later. Goodbye. Is that it? Oh, oh, oh. I was hiding in the pub, but I was kicked out. Why? Not everyone can handle my temper. But I don't get. I don't mean to offend anyone. Don't get me wrong. It's just sometimes it gets sickening. You know how it is. What do you think? Will you let me in? Are you sure there won't be any? Are you, you're not a visitor, ain't you? You think I'm one of those monsters? No, I'm no visitor. But asking everyone to their face about it is just crazy. And it will. It will be like that from now on. Why did they kick you out of your last shelter? I was thinking of to tell you something offensive, but I changed my mind. I told you, people just felt uncomfortable with me. They were all sorts of weirdos. When I think about it, maybe it was for the best that they kicked me out. Those who would have eaten me alive and not even noticed. Ah, come in. Thanks. Trust in people nowadays is worth no more than a coin. That's why I appreciate your trust. Maybe. Alright, I can't promise anything. I like that man. He isn't even sure about himself. He is not... Hello? Sorry, we're disturbing you so late. It's just too hot during the day. The TV said it's better not to go out in the sun. Is there any corner for me? Who are you? Uh, I used to live closer to the town. The asphalt heats up pretty intensely out there. <laughs> I used to work as a cashier. Not anymore, though. I got fired. They didn't want to have any luck with work. What do you think will happen in the future? I don't know. Will I survive? Who will help me? How long will I have to search for help? I don't know what will happen next. I can't even guess. Aren't you even scared by this? I am very much so. Mm, I don't like your disfigurement, really, but that could be because of the eye hole, really. Come in. Thank you. Oh, thank you, really. Oh, God, I'll live one more day. Sure. It seems no one else will come tonight. Oh, I mean, we can all figure this shit out tomorrow. So we will see who's the intruder. And once we do find out who's the intruder, oh god, Brainiac's back. We interrupt our morning show for an urgent message. Today at 6.20 a.m., there was a powerful solar energy eruption. This flare was larger, larger than scientists predicted. The air temperature has reached a critical level. Authorities have declared a state of emergency. We urge all citizens to avoid going outside during daylight hours. Now, on to the news. Aliens? People emerging from underground? No, this isn't a sci-fi story or a tabloid headline. Eyewitnesses report contact with visitors around the city. One witness encountered a middle-aged man, but are perfectly white teeth. Oh, ah, uh, so if they have perfectly white teeth, they are they. It turns out he was one of these visitors. Similar incidents with visitors sporting perfect white teeth have been observed. So if you want to identify them, check their teeth. Please stay alert and calm. Now let's move on to other news. Where are they? Where? Living room? You. 
talk to you. Yeah, did you want something? I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Teeth. You want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have the taste of unhappiness and smoke on them. I don't know. Those look perfectly white, mate. Yellowish, huh? Well, don't fuck with me with your tests. I'm not a visitor. How do you recognize a visitor? I know no more than you. Visitors can be identified preferably white teeth. This is fucking bullshit. They just want us to kill each other. There's no clear why. All right, well, you're all set then, mate. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, where is this weirdo? Where's that weirdo? She better not be in the goddamn pantry. She's in the goddamn pantry. Uh-huh, hopefully this will all be over soon. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Did you see the news? Show your teeth. Are you going to make a decision based on teeth? Uh-oh. I had my teeth fixed recently. Although, to be honest, I can't remember when I've been on the dentist. How I, have I even been to one? God, I can't remember what I ate yesterday because of fear. Does that... Do I fit the description? That can't be... Oh my god. I was just without a fucking gun. I can't be a visitor. Yes. <sighs> this just turned from zero to a hundred real quick and I am not sure if I want to be the one holding the gun. Let's hear you out. No, it can't just be a coincidence, right? How can I be a visitor? It can't be. It can't be. Can it? I remember my life. Nothing in it. Nothing like that. Thank you. I really should. Oh, God damn it. Maybe I messed up. Either, I don't know. I want to give her the benefit of the doubt. I really would like to give her the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. Maybe I should have shot her. Maybe I should have just blown her out. That's fine. We'll just see you then. If I die tonight, you know what? That's a mistake I made on myself. Okay. Let's do this again. We have a few more spaces. We have like three of them. And I might change my mind tomorrow. Okay. Let me tell you right away. I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find peace at your place? Uh, who are you? Doesn't matter anymore. You're asking if I'm a visitor, aren't you? No, I'm not a visitor, but there's something I would ask of you. Later, I'm not sure yet. You don't mind the heat? I always feel cold. Well, some are burning up outside, I wrap myself in jackets and still feel cold. I'm scared to take off my clothes. What if it only brings more suffering? What if I can't die from it? I mean, you can come in, but I'll rid the place of you once I shoot you if you turn out to be a, a, a visitor. The ceiling is a little low here, but I'll be fine. It's fine. Listen, I'll just eradicate one of them. If it turns out she's one of them, I'm just going to eradicate. Okay, okay. Well, I'm sorry if I didn't check it in time. Oh, I fucking love you. How, for how fortunate we are. We've witnessed firsthand the consequences of human passions. The earth will be cleansed. The sun will do its work. And we will go to a new clean world. This is the fucking good news. What? What are you doing, human? Listen to me, I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun burns and burns us for no reason. It bakes sins out of us. We've all done all sorts of things and now the sun is angry. Give us his hit to what? And this is a good thing. All of our sins will be over. We'll live our lives properly. What's going to happen to you then? What's it got to do with me? We're all going to live well right after the sun helps. The sun will just help us get rid of all this stuff, you know? No? You understand everything. That's why you're alive. I fucking love you, man. You can come in. I can tell you a lot more about all this. Do you have any beer I forgot to ask? Fuck yeah, man. Absolutely lovely. We have one more, I guess. There we go. Perfect. This guy from Fast and Furious. All sick. Too bad we are the witnesses. Maybe we are the participants, too. Do you need anything? No, thanks. Everything I need is already here. And what I don't have, you can't help me with. Will you read my fortune? Choose where I should open the book and read a line. You're... What are you talking about? That's how... That's how you look at it. What do my words mean to you? Will you read my fortune from a book? Open near the middle, last paragraph. The dead will come and tell, and he will not be believed. What does that mean? I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. Perfect. Well, great. I have such a... I have so many guests. I'm no longer lonely. It's just me. And uh, the, 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 the weird conspiracy man. Oh, God. You smelled the cane that someone was killed. What? Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal, and experts predict that will continue to intensify. There are continuing reports from eyewitnesses about encounters with visitors. In response to the situation, authorities urgently ramped up FEMA operations. FEMA is the acronym for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA staff members wear yellow hazmat suits. The FEMA special committee started functioning recently, but they have discovered a new indicator of visitors. The committee experts believe that besides white teeth, visitors can't be identified can be identified by dirt under their nails. Oh, 
As reported by FEMA, this was discovered during an inspection of one of the houses. Employees encountered a woman who had worked as a nurse. For some unknown reason, she had dirt on her nails. Given that visitors emerged from the ground, the woman was taken for testing. Her dangerous status was confirmed. If you notice anyone resembling a visitor, promptly contact FEMA members or call the hotline at 0451. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now let's move on to the other news. So one of us died. Who died? <gasps> How many victims are there? Thousands, hundreds, okay. As no one will tell you, so you don't piss your pants in fear. No matter what number you come up with, triple it. That's probably closer to the actual number of victims. Okay, I need to check on you. Uh, teeth. It helps, if it helps in the way, sure, look. Got it. Shoot. You know what? <gasps> what? What did it say? What the fuck? Okay, have fun, man. You can stay there. Okay. Nope, that's empty. Who died? Was it the the man or was it the woman? Um, you're still there. Didn't it say someone died? Wait, what? Didn't it say someone died? Uh, you're just gonna stay in here. Okie dokie, Smokey. Um, hopefully this will be over soon. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Hands. Sure, your fingernails an interesting sign for sure. Yeah, let's see. Oh, you're. So Thank God I didn't kill you. Oh God. That didn't look like dirt. What are you talking about? Okay, what about you? Can I talk to you? No, I'm gonna guess he's just regular. He's just regular old Joe. All right. Hey, man. I'm gonna here to check your fingernails. Uh, hands. So what now? Every visitor is a visitor. Every gardener is a visitor now. That's ridiculous. Look at the nails. Well, am I a visitor? Of course not. I'm glad. I'm so glad I let you in, dude. Honest to God. Oh, that's the noise of the door. Okay. I think. I don't really know. Okay, we did it though. And we shot that woman. See, she had the dirt under her nails and the fucking teeth. I knew it. I don't know why I'm laying this weirdo in the pantry still. I don't know. Maybe I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. I don't know anymore. <gasps> Hello. Why are you here? How's it going here? Is everything okay? Why are you ignoring my questions? Listen, hey, 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 are you alone in the house? Just curious. You're just reading someone's fortune. Promising salvation to some, driving some away. I have other people taking shelter here. You're a lucky tonight. I can hear someone whispering in your rooms. But who knows what will happen tomorrow? Oh, okay. I think that's what I was supposed to do. The old the man told me. Can I rest at your place? Where did you come from? I don't remember anymore. I don't care about it. I'm very tired. If I don't get some rest, I'll just collapse from exhaustion. Is your partner sick? That's my husband. He died. I can't bury him properly, so now it's pointless to let him go by. You know what? Come in. One all. I don't think I'll stay long. I just need a break. Sure. Why not? Come in. Come all. You can make room next to the guy and the woman I shot. A mugger. <laughs> You see what's going on? Fuck it out. How's it going on? How's it going down here? What do you need? Just curious, that's all. Actually, I got a little scheme. You can easily make some money. With the sun feeling so good, you can make money without even trying. And all the losers are scared of something, but you just need to hustle, bitch. <laughs> what are you offering? Survive. What else is there? We gotta make plans while we can. To hell with the sun. Keep moving, you know? Let's go, shall we? I wanna keep a muggers. Uh oh, oh, now we're talking. Finally, someone with some sense, bitch. You know, he really just. He, ma he makes it so easy. He makes it so easy. He is very good with words. A doctor. It's so quiet in there. Hey, may I come in? Are you looking for something? Why would you think that? No, I'm actually looking for something. But the same thing as everyone else is. Safety and a way to kill boredom. You guys are so quiet at night. I honestly didn't think anyone slept here. So I thought I'd check to see if it's okay to come in, but it was locked. I was about to knock before I tried breaking the door down. Who are you? I'm a traveling doctor now. Hospitals are chaotic. I highly advise against going there. I've operated on people. I'm a surgeon. There wasn't enough funding at our hospital, so I've done a lot of other jobs that aren't typically mine. Now I just go around helping whoever I can. Sure, we need a doctor. Yeah, now we go. He was genuinely- Is there more? There's more? I don't see anyone. That's a bunch of bullshit. I heard knocking. Okay, well now we have a full house. Maybe the doctor can uh, heal up the woman that I shot in the head. Maybe we can- Maybe we can make this all work out. Hopefully no one dies. You, you, someone was killed tonight. It seems you have a guest in your house. Someone was killed. 
if it get what? Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. The Valley and FEMA staff members have organized quarantine zones. Anyone showing signs of visitors directed there. Some people express concern that the identity of visitors remains unknown. However, FEMA assures that they are merely ill individuals in need of assistance. Additionally, FEMA has identified new indicator visitors. Intensely irritated blood red eyes. This information was discovered through experiments with detained guests. According to FEMA experts, the irritation is caused by exposure to bright sunlight. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now let's move on to the morning news. What do you mean someone was killed? I didn't see anyone. Okay, I got you. We have a visitor. I think I know who the fucking visitor is. Okay, yep, okay, um... Dear fucking god, you... I need to check on you. Eyes. <sighs> Should've just done it to you later. I need to check on you. Eyes. Holy shit! This guy has two fucking eyes! <laughs> oh. Let me see your fucking nails. I heard you. Some people with these hands. No, please look. Oh wow, he actually is- okay, the doctor- yeah, okay, you know what, fine, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, you. Let me see you. I need to check something. Eyes. Bitch, you suck my dick! <laughs> God! Alright, now we have three people in the house. I gotta check this woman now. Hey, ma'am. Uh, I just need to do something. No? Oh, okay. Oh, we- do we not talk to them in there? Okay, that's weird. The- the big man died, oh god. Yeah, do you want something? I need to check on you. Eyes. Every day it gets more surreal. What if I didn't sleep? Oh, if I cried? I can't make sense how this works. What do you do if a sign checks out? Or several? Now I'm going to be a visitor tonight. I'll go and cry. I'll reminisce about the peaceful times. I really- there's- there can't be a visitor in this house anymore, honestly. They can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're in here. I forgot about that. Oh, I'm feeling drowsy from the beer. The best thing right now is to go to sleep. I'm gonna guess that's what that said. It better not be that fucking doctor. If it's that goddamn doctor, then I should have just shot you. I should have just shot all of you, fuckers. The only one that's been good is the tall, lanky man. I've killed several people. <laughs> I haven't even contacted FEMA. It doesn't matter anymore. I do my own research. I'm from the FEMA crew. You're here to. We're here to help you. You came alone. No, of course not. Our crew is going door to door in the neighborhood. We're splitting up to get the job done faster. I won't be staying along. Uh, why are you wearing a hazmat suit? Are you setting? Are you getting one of those? There's no reason to be afraid. This is in case you watch the sunrise. Civilians don't need it now. Just stay home. We will take care of you. Do you have an action plan? Of course. It's not like we can act spontaneously. We'll take any one person with us for examination. Since you may have been exposed to solar radiation, we'll check on the health of one. Based on that, we'll decide if you all need help. It can be anyone. Do I have to pack two? No, you are, as I understand it, the owner of the house. You stay here for now. We'll take the man away for a while, then decide what to do next. We'll issue instructions afterwards. I'm now taking the man with us. We're leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, bye, doctor. Uh... The fuck? Okay. Okay. What a mess. Did you see that? What kind of society is this? The beasts around here are revealed. Finally, nobody's pretending. What do you mean? Are you one of the beasts? We're all the same beasts. If you deny it long enough, you'll be eaten alive. No bones left. Now, the new order is whoever the strongest is right. Whoever says he's not one of his kind of people will be dead tomorrow. How many houses have you switched? I haven't been anywhere for a long time. But everywhere I see chaos, fear, blinds people, and so many things. You still have some order. That's interesting. I'd like to see you keep it. Yeah, sure. Witness me. Witness me. An intelligent decision. Your force now rules your life. You either accept it or get in trouble. Sure, let the fucking freak pastor in. Who else is here? Let me in. Did something happen? <laughs> my daddy killed my dad. What did they do? Drink some water. I don't, I don't know. They were quietly sitting with daddy in the kitchen and then did something and then they set the house on fire. While I was running, they were just laughing. Fuck. Can you help me? I'm scared. I'm not gonna like this. If I have to, oh, just, oh, nope, I should have just, oh, okay. Oh, uh, not around you. I don't like staying in one place too long. Can't roam around as much anymore. I'm getting too old for that. Why do you travel? Yeah, those are very... Those very ones, have you seen what those visitors are up to? Every house, someone's killed someone else and torn apart. They pretend to be one of us. Then man, all hell broke loose. We need to wipe out these visitors. What's your weapon against the visitors? I had a gun. I almost got myself killed. They waited till I was asleep in the tent just stole my gun. I was running. They were shooting. That's the kind of fun they have. There's nothing human but a shell. Yeah, sure, why not? I knew you were a pushover, a re real man. Mix it up with these visitors. They won't come near us by a mile. You look like the guy from the, uh, the thing. What's the- I can't remember actor's name for shit. Anybody? 
looking for someone. I'm not looking for anyone, just need a place to hide. The whole neighborhood has been kicked out and no one knows where to go. Now I'm running in shock, looking for a place to live. How many of you left? I'm telling you, the whole house. So many didn't leave on their own. The yellows grabbed it like they didn't mean it and took them away for examination. I feel like half of them were grabbed. They didn't chase the others too much. Well, now I have to survive somehow. Sure, why not? Yeah, thanks. Don't open the door to those yellow ones, okay? They're gonna take us somewhere. I just made a huge mistake. I'm, I don't know who the hell I'm gonna have to kill tomorrow, but golly, it's gonna happen. Ah, god damn it. Demon continues to new visitors. According to data, attempts to photograph visitors result in severe blurring the photos. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> My god, urge citizens to use this new information to identify visitors. Please stay alert. Now let's move on to the news. God damn it. You. I need to check on you. Photo. You're taking a picture of the person you're talking to. You have a whole photo to make it around a faster. You notice that the picture seems fine, but it's being snatched out of your hands. Give it to me. I'll throw them out myself. Well, he seems fine. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. Keep your eyes open. The visitor could be any one of us. I need to check on you. Photo. Don't really like taking pictures. The flash remains of a thunderstorm it makes me panic. Now you don't get it. I'm not. You know you don't get it. I'm not taking a picture. Fine. Fine. We'll do that. Hey kid. Okay, we can't talk to the kid. I need to check on you. Eyes. Perf. Yep. See. Okay. So you're fine for now. Uh, we'll check you. Nothing in the pantry. I'm to that. Oh, they're gone. Oh, they. Oh, they don't stay long. The ones in the bathroom, I guess. I don't- I don't like this. Oh, I forgot you're here. Oh, son, please don't let anyone in. I need to check on you. Photo. It's been a long time since I was last photographed. Go ahead, why not? You're taking a picture of the person you're talking to. You purposely hold still and wait for the moment. When the photo shows up, you can see that's blurry completely. Sorry. Try it. They'll smear you too. What the fuck? I don't like any of this. Stop. You know, fuck it. We're just doing, we're just cleaning house. We're cleaning house. That's the, yeah, fuck off. I'm cleaning house. It's cleaning house day. It was the kid. I fucking knew it was the kid. The guy, that poor bastard. I feel like I've killed so many people. The only guy I've killed is those fucking pastor and the goddamn guy. God damn it. God, fuck, 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 fuck. You've done a lot to those, for those you let in. There's too much blood has been spilled. You are too dangerous to stay in this house. You must leave. You're being driven out of your own home by people fearing for their safety. You didn't live one day and burned by the scorching sun outside. Oh, what the fuck? No, we're doing this over again. Fuck that. What do you know about the cataclysm? Enough to make you think about the end of the world. If I'm not happy about it, but I'm not sad about it either. I don't care what happens next. I need to check on you. Hands. Um, here out. What? Wait, what? I. Oh. That's not... You see several teenagers spending time in a field outside the window. They're sitting around chatting silently and I'm paying attention to you. Oh my god, this was the window I was supposed to look at. God damn it. Now I can look at the windows? In the distance is the neighbor's house. The neighbor is visiting you now. The, light, the lights are on in the windows and the family seems to be waiting for him to leave you back home for dinner. I don't know what that just meant. But either way, we'll see what's going on. Okay. Yep, okay, got you, got you. And it says, look. We're fine. Doesn't say there's a visitor. How do you know because I'm a visitor? And there you go. And then to check on you. There you go. Perfect. And who else? I don't think I'll let anyone else in here. All right, now we're all set. So now we can do the second night. We'll check the windows. Outside the window stands a neighbor and his daughter. They play happily together, forgetting the horror that is happening. Just for a moment, watching this makes you remember your childhood and gives you a warm feeling of nostalgia. Well, ain't that sweet. Now, what the hell is the other things going? Let's check the windows before anything. There are bodies, teenagers on the ground. Someone killed them. It seems to be recent because the blood hasn't dried yet. The picture gives you goosebumps, makes you feel a little uneasy. Jesus Christ! Check the window. <gasps> the past seems a man as pale as death itself. They are strange folds in the skin. The skin's to be too big for him. You can't see his eyes from here, but you can feel him drilling you with his gaze. You feel fear and pray to God that the creep visitor will avoid this house. Okay. Didn't realize that. Check the entrance. Uh, who, how long, who are you? Uh, later, you don't mind the heat? I always feel cold. Come in. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye now. It will tell me if there's a visitor in the house. It will tell me if there's a fucking visitor in the house. 
Yeah, okay. What? Okay, yes, come in. Yeah, come in. Come in now. Come in. Get the fuck in here now. Is he still out there? Yeah, he's still out there. Freak. No, who is it? Who the fuck is that now? Oh, it's the priest guy. Okay, thank you. Yep, per perfect. Thank you. No one else will come tonight. Okie dokie, Smokey. That's not good. That ain't good. That ain't good. Okay, we gotta pay attention because it'll tell me if there's a thing in here now. So... Okay, we're all good. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. So activity. Yep, 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 yep. So it means everyone here is safe. I think that, that noise could just be that they're all talking. Uh, I can recognize the visitor. Hey, do you want something? Who are the visitors? There's something humanity has never faced before. There's a slap of labels, something unknown and hated, as if this has never happened before. People are fundamentally flawed. That what can you do? I wish there was some warmth. What do you know about the cataclysm? Enough to make you think about the end of the world. I'm not happy about it, but I'm not sad about it either. Okay, we'll just leave it like that then. I need to talk to this guy in the bathroom. How do you recognize the visitor? I don't think I know the plain truth. You ask me, who are the visitors? But here I'll answer you. They are my hard different visitors from other planets. They are the descendants of aliens who came to Earth with the sun when younger and the grass was greener. They planted them in the soil like sprouts of evil and they have been growing for eight years. Now they have crawled out and want to take our Earth. And but the sun has decided to protect us from the sun is unmilitary to visitors. What? Otherwise we have been, who, why had they been hiding underground all this time? Fuck, I wish I had a cold beer. Okay, well, we all seem to be all set. See, no one's died. I can trust them. Everything's going great. Okay, now go to bed. Now let's do this. Okay, let's check the window. There's a small group of FEMA staff standing outside a neighbor's house. I wonder where they're talking. Maybe they're taking soil samples or are they looking for a place to set up base? It makes you feel a little better to think that someone's trying to make sense of this nightmare. Oof, let's check the other ones. The, the teenagers, oh, the bodies of teenagers burned to death on the ground. They seem to have been lying here all day. Two emergency workers are standing next to the bodies and writing something down. It's good that there are those who can remove the bodies. It's scary to imagine what kind of contagion could appear if the rotting bodies are not removed from the streets. Thank God for FEMA. Hooey. Okay. Open. Oh, it's the soldiers. There are a group of armed soldiers outside the window. Apparently, they are a small unit sent here from the city to provide security for the EC. You can only hear bits and pieces of phrases about a pale man with a bare torso. Maybe they want to track down that creepy stranger? You feel relieved that there are people ready to deal with the dangerous guests on the streets. Great. And now I have to deal with the fact that... Are you here? Are you okay? Why are you going to want... Wait, what do you want? Uh, I am... I have other people here. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Well, you guys, uh, he's there. If you guys want to track him down... Okay, fine. Okay, where did you come from? Uh, is your partner sick? God, if it's you, I swear to fucking God. If it's you, I swear to God. Open. I don't trust you. No, I don't think- I think it's you. What are you offering? You better leave. You're an idiot, but whatever. I don't give a shit about you, bitch. Fine, I'll go to your neighbors then. See you later. Nope, don't trust him. I, f I feel like it's that. Nah, I think I made a mistake. Among us, it could have been him. Oh, have you been watching the house? Who are you? Come in. Okay. Please tell me I was right. Please tell me I was right. It's either it's either the doctor or it's the other one. Oh my god, it was him. Holy shit, it was him. Oh, holy shit. I wish there was some warmth. What's the cataclysm? Because of people. You're the only things to blame for what's going on. I don't think they add more. Alas. Do you need? Do we need to stick together? I think we shouldn't. I have, I have been hurt so much by people who follow the herd, who blindly see those who are different and flatly reject them, persecute and humiliate them. Is it a good thing I'm in this asylum? Okay, well, that seems great. Good on you. No one's in here. Okay. Kitchen. No one's in the kitchen. Uh, pantry? Hey, Doc. Uh, do we need to stick together? I think so, but you can't be too careful. Remember what happened in the hospital. I hate to see it all happen again. Man is a reasonable creature, but a crowd, a crowd is a stupid beast. Okay. The fuck? You. I need to get some rest. Do we need to stick together? I don't know. I'm sorry. It's too hard for me to think right now. I just want to take a little rest. That's all. Let me rest, please. I'm really tired. I need to check on you. Your eyes. Can a person in this new world still cry? Apparently, I think it's reasonably... Okay, fine. 
Maybe Frank now. No joy allowed. No crying allowed. Sometimes speaking is allowed either. We can only sit and cover our faces with our hands. If we need to stick together, the flock must stick together. Otherwise, how will the righteous one instruct everyone on the right path? I mean, no one's died. No one's died, clearly. I'm doing the right thing, I think. I think. That's a real thing, I think. Let's check the windows. <gasps> His house, which was recently painted white, burned to the ground, is now completely black. The fire seems to have died down recently. Did someone set on fire on purpose? What happened to their neighbor's family? Did anyone survive? Why did they burn the house down? Your head is filled with anxious thoughts and the feelings of incomprehension and helplessness. Okay. Uh, a pale, creepy man stands in the road and smiles. He has someone's suffered head in his hands, wearing a helmet. It's a soldier's head with a grimace of horror frozen on his face. You are very uncomfortable with what you see. Okie dokie. Oh, the entire squad of soldiers who were here yesterday are dead. Their bodies are strewn all over the street and one of the bodies is missing a head. Did that pale, creepy stranger kill them all? You are horrified by this picture of carnage and you feel in danger. This ain't good. I'm from the FEMA crew. We're here to help you. How can I trust you? You've been... You've seen the news. We were here. I can also show you my ID. How will you help us? First, we need to have some investigation. Based on the results, I'll be able to take further action by notifying the management. You just need to wait a little. Do you... What's next? I will take one man from you. I'll have him back soon. It's for examination. You may have been exposed to solar radiation. We'll need to measure it on one person. It can be anyone. Do I have to pack two? No, you are, as I understand it, the owner of the house. You stay here for now. We'll take the man away for a while, then decide what to do next. We'll issue instructions afterwards. He's taking the fucking doctor. I fucking knew he'd take the doctor. Why does he have to take the goddamn doctor? God damn it. I don't like you. Finally, nobody's... No, are you one of the beasts? Nope, nope, nope. You better leave. It's fine. Okay, yeah, we'll let you in. If it's you, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, come in. I'm not laying the- I'm not laying the woman in. Not laying the woman in. The other woman in. Looking for someone? Nope, nope, nope. You better leave. I'll bring my people over here to help you save yourself. What? No one also come tonight. Okay. So it's either the guy or the child, and I don't know if I should shoot the child or the man. Please tell me I'm right. Please tell me I'm fucking right. You fucker! I fucking knew it. Who'd he kill? fuck is this? He killed the guy. He killed the fucking guy. God damn it. It's one of you two. Okay, so only one person died. It's only, it's either the guy or the child. Talk to you. I want my mama. I need to check on you. Photo. I'm not really into photo photography. photography. Will you show me a photo later? You're taking a picture of a girl. The photo came out a little blurry. I'm going up to you without wailing for the end of the photo shoot. Thank you. I don't like it, but you'd... Okay, it's you. I need to check on you. Teeth. God damn, fuck you. Fuck you, I knew it was fucking you. Sorry, kid, you're gonna have to live in there for a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, and he fucking, he fucking killed him, dude. I was the one good guy. I don't trust them. They have more power in people's lives. They can take anyone and see a visitor. They'll take them to sooner or later, all in good time. Oh, I need to get some rest. Is the end near? I don't think about anything anymore. Okay, cool. Damn the fucking sun. Damn those fucking monsters. Is we think of FEMA are the damned heretic. All right, glad to see. Fucking damn those fuckers who threw my mother into a. Oh god. Uh, I need to check on you. Photo. Don't no help me, husband. Like you wanted to mark his death. I'm at a loss for words. Do whatever you want. Don't touch me. I just go away. Well, my bad, man. I'm just making sure. We'll just take a beer then. If it's the child, I'm gonna lose my shit. Damn it, dude. I liked the tall, scrawny guy. He was the one good lad. All right, what do we do now? You're looking at the neighbor's house. Only a ghostly silhouette remains. You're devastated by what you've seen. It seems to disturb you even more to realize that it's not the evil guests who are to blame, but people with paranoia. It brings you anxiety. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, you see a steak with a helmeted skull on it. There's some black burnt skin left on the skull and the teeth look like someone pulled them out. Yeah, the head has been here all day. The whole grim display looks like a threat, sure left by the creepy pale visitor. God damn it. God damn it. What's in this one now? Oh, there's a dead man hanging suspended from a lamppost with a sign around his neck. It says visitors are not welcome. Looks like the poor guy was mistaken for a guest. 
and killed in a lynching. The thought of violence engulfing a once peaceful and quiet town breaks your heart and makes you long for quieter times. Okay, now I think we're going to... We're here with the FEMA team. We need to do a survey of your neighborhood. What about the last survey? The results are too mixed. We're not sure of the results yet. The sample was too small. Why was one not enough? The sample's too small. The boss first said to take one at a time. Now we can see what we... But now we can see what we need more. We need... So we sent out again. No, I'm not interested in those examinations. You don't get it. We didn't give you a jo choice. We're just doing our jobs. You can't say no. No, all we need to do is leave. We'll do what we need to do and leave. No. What the fuck, man? What do you think of that one in the suit? I don't know how I feel. I don't know how to feel about him. What's not to know? Okay, anyway, I don't care. I'm kind of busy. Can you come back later? I understand, of course. I'll come back later. Just say, are you alone in the house? I have other people here in the shelter. Getting ready? Do you know what you're getting ready for? It's the last days. Didn't they tell you? Dogs rule the world, and only the only dogs will be here. Have a good stay. Oh, now it's just me, the the conspiracy, the but what comes next is a terrible secret. How have you survived this time? That's not the problem you should be worrying about, but thanks. I don't yet feel that the glaciers are going to melt anytime soon. Looks like when you're in, looks like when you're, we're in for the birds raining from the sky. Do you think things will get worse? Is there any point in thinking? I don't think we should bother our heads with it now. Whether you keep taking or hiding people, it's all the same. I have no thoughts on what to do. What should we do? I don't know. I'll just keep watching. That's all I can do. What will you do? We're not letting anyone in anymore. We're not letting anyone in anymore. I, oh God, oh God. Okay, nope, no one else will come tonight. Okay, 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 okay. Just go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed. It is no longer safe to live on the surface of the earth. You board up all the windows and barricade the doors. After conferring with your tenants, you decide not to go out into the outside world anymore. You pray helplessly that someday this will all be over if this nightmare ever ends. At the very least, you have peace of mind knowing that there are only humans under your roof. Oh, okay, great. The two people I didn't want gone, dude, was the fucking tall, lanky guy and the other woman who was just didn't care about anything else. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, but that's going to have to be it for Violent Horror Story Series Part 2. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below, and share with a friend. And if you really enjoyed this missive video, go ahead and subscribe. I'm recording this early in the morning. I'm kind of just still out of it entire. I'm not a morning person whatsoever. But hopefully, maybe this is a lesson I just don't do in the morning anymore. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you really enjoyed this missive video, go ahead and subscribe. I think I said that right, but if not, yeah. Other than that, I hope to see you all in the next video.